Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Team Zeon. Today, we're going to talk about SD Gundam Unicorn Gundam 03 Phoenix. Yes, but the original HG one is too expensive. So that's why I go for HG. I mean, uh, the SD. I would love to talk a little bit about uh, Gundam NT. Uh, before you watch Gundam NT, make sure you finish the whole Universal Century story. If you do not finish the Universal Century story and you, you just jump into NT, you don't know what the hell they're trying to say. You have no idea, you will get confused. And even watching the, the OVA is not enough. You have to go very detailed study the whole UC Century storyline to fully understand what NT is trying to bring up. Uh, as a, as the as a fan, a Gundam fan like me, as growing up back in eighty, we watching a lot of a lot of robot anime. What 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 make Gundam stand out is because Gundam is is kind of real. Most of the, the robot anime they fighting monster. But when Gundam came out, it's talk about human. They going through war. But it's like two different country and fighting, you know. That's what makes Gundam stand out. The father of Gundam, Yoshiyuki, is he created a new type. Uh, for so many years in the UC Century story, story. And you can tell, beside Yoshiyuki, no other creator want to talk about new type. They don't even want to touch new type. Back to NT. The coming up video, it might, have, it might be a spoiler. If you haven't watched NT, uh, skip this part. A lot of people walk after they finish watching the, the NT. Some people like it, some people hate it. It depends how you understand the story. You know, as a Gundam fan like me, I'm an old, old Gundam fan. At the same time, I like the movie. No, you cannot say I like the movie. I understand what they're trying to say. But at the same time, I don't like what they're telling me for so many years that I've been watching Gundam. Especially, I'm a big fan of, of the UC Century. And at the end, they try to explain what is new type. That, that is totally that. It's hard for me to, to accept for so many because the NT is not done by Yoshiyuki. So he is not the one who wrote the story. I don't know if this is this is what he tried to explain new type or just from uh, this creator that he he and, and his point that what is new type, you know. Watch the Gundam Shark Hunter attack. You know how crazy is Zazabi and New Gundam already. And when the when Unicorn came out, Unicorn is already super crazy already, and especially with the ending, it's the it's a big fella at the end. You know what the what they're trying to say uh, in in the unicorn, and they come to NT. NT is even more crazy. Is you don't need pilot to to, to pilot the, the movie suit. All you need is a spirit. The big fella in the movie is the Zeon side. That dude from Zeon. You know who the hell that guy is. You know I'm a Zeon fan. It's so hard for me to take it when I see a, a character like that. You know, maybe it's the, the maybe it's the creative problem that they didn't mention too many about this character. It's not detailed enough, you know. The only thing that I know that he's trying to suicide, that's that's all I know. The first thing that I walk out of the theater, I don't even know what his name is, you know. And I don't know what is the point of he being in the movie. He's supposed to be one of the, the big villains or, or the boss fight, you know. Same time that when you're following a lot of Universal Century story, you can you you will remember most of the the Xeon pilot. You know, here's what I have in my mind. The Bandai is I I I I kind of not clear what Bandai Namco trying to do anymore with the, with the anime. You know, uh, the the UC Century is kind of starting. They 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 kind of start destroying the UC Century storyline already. You know, 
and I don't know how how it's gonna be be in the future for the for the for the Gundam anime. If you they, if they start something new, that's cool. You know, if they want to start something with the UC story, you know they 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 need to think about the, the UC storyline very detailedly before they continue. And this year is the 40 year anniversary of uh, Gundam. And yes, we don't have any new Gundam series anime this year besides uh, the Build Diver. Bandai Namco haven't announced any uh, any any uh, series of uh, anime, the uh, Gundam anime for 2019. Instead, they announced some of them in 2020. And the next Gundam movie is gonna be the what's that? The, the Hatchway Flash. It take play uh, after the the shotgun attack. I hope they don't mess up that, you know. And that's the that's a little trick about that movie is I don't know how they're gonna tell the story because the way that the novel and the, the way that uh, the shotgun attack anime is kind of different, you know. I don't know if they they were using the, the novel one or if they're gonna using the anime one. So let's see what happened. And uh, yeah, honestly, Bandai Namco haven't do any any job that to take it to Gundam fan. Oh, I, I I I to me I think Gundam only know how to sell model. Beside the model, they haven't do any good job for for the storyline. For, for the anime series, especially with the Gundam game, dude, they, they totally destroyed all the Gundam game for, for how many? So many years. You know, the only thing that Bandai Kid is selling their model, and I hope they correct this in, in the future. Because that's it for Bandai. I'm, I'm, that's it for you, you know. Let's continue to my video. Uh, I hope you like my video. If you like my video, Click the like, share my video, and subscribe my channel for the future video. And stay tuned.
Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my video. Uh, SD Gundam, no, SD Unicorn Gundam Phoenix. This is the box. Let's see what's inside the box. Instruction book. You know, some runner. One, two, three, four, five. Five runner for SD Gundam. Pretty cool. The first thing you open the box, the first thing you see is the gold color. You see, this is the gold color they come with. You can see the, the gold color is very different than the gold that they, they're showing on the, on the box. Um, yeah, this is the gold color they show on the box. But when you open the, the box, the gold is totally off. It's kind of like this. Yeah, this is the gold that uh, very close to uh, what came inside the box, and not this one. I try to try to get it as close as possible with the gold color, you know. And this is what I have come out. It's so cool that you can stretch around uh, his eye, take out his head, and pop this thing. Flip it over. After you switching the eye, it looks like this. The regular Gundam eye. Pretty cool. If you want to know how did I ping it on Go, uh, you can check my previous video on the Destiny Gundam I talk about a little bit. Basically, is you need to spray a, a, a glossy coat, glossy black on on the surface, and let it dry, and then spray the coat. You must you must spray the the glossy black on the bottom first before you spray and go. You cannot just spray go; it, it won't come out like this. You know, if you wanna come out stand out like this. You have to do the. You have to finish the. You have to spray a, a coat of a glossy black, and then you spray a coat of a, a one or two coat of gold. Hey, I've done a lot of talking today. That's it for today's video. Like I always say, building a gun plug when you tire or lost patient, stop it. Continue the next day. Don't rush. I hope everybody have a happy build. I am Yamasaki from Team Zia. That's it. I'm out.